Okay, so we are going to be making bread today! And basically, the most simplest bread recipe is liquid, flour, and yeast. Now I have a highly active, fast-rising yeast. Mom it, mom it. And Ember is going to be doing most of the work. Now she's going to take a teaspoon of sugar and put it right here in this cup. Not right at the moment, Anna. No flour yet. Okay, Anna, get your hands out of the flour. And now we're going to take the yeast and we're going to open up the packet. Mommy, do we need salt? Not yet. But there is salt over there. We're going to dump the packet of yeast into the cup. Hold on. Hi, gone, mommy. And we're going and to we're add a little bit of water, not a lot, just enough to cover the yeast. That's good. Warm water. And Ember is going to gently like you're mixing stir cocoa. the yeast in. It smells so weird. Yes, it's yeast. I like that. Okay, now she's going to tap the spoon and get all the yeast off the spoon into the water. And this helps to activate it. You can leave the spoon in there and just put the cup off to the side. Okay? Now, I'm going to put that off to the side. We're going to dry out our measuring cup. I'll hand you a paper towel. Okay, so Ember's going to dry out the measuring cup and then she's going to put four cups of all-purpose flour into this nice glass mixing bowl. Your pirate bowl. Okay. To make my life easier, there's a little one in here. Four. Four cups. There, that's one cup, you can tell. Okay. So, okay, so it's only been a few minutes, mm -hmm. maybe like three to five, I stopped to answer the phone. Um, and the yeast has already risen, and this is what it looks like when it rises. Now the sugar feeds the yeast, and the warm water helps more than cold water. <laughs> And I have a little child that likes to play with the flower. No flower, let go. Keep the flower in. And now Ember is going to add a pinch of salt once I deal with this flower issue. So now Ember is going to put a big pinch of salt in. Not a little pinch, big pinch. Because we want about a half a teaspoon in total. Okay, that's good. Now we're going to add one cup of milk. Down, down, down. We don't have a cup. That metal cup was the one cup measuring cup. Where did it go? I think, yeah, I'm going to do it back in here. Okay. Mommy, 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 mommy. And because of our lack of milk, we're going to be postponing one of our videos we were going to record today. Pizza, mommy. We're gonna make bread again, are we? I apologize about the shaking, but I'm keeping somebody on my shoulders to put this mess at a minimum. Okay, now we're going to scrape the yeast in. I always wanted to feel that. It feels so weird. It's the foam you get when you make like a root beer float. Down, down, down. Scrape every little bit in there. Then I'll need a spatula. No, that's good. 
You said every little bit. Okay, now we're just going to mix it and we will add flour in if we need to or we'll add more milk in if we need to. What about yeast? Nope, that's all the yeast we need. God, it feels so bread already. Okay. Uh -huh. We're going to add in milk. A little bit more milk. We don't want it too wet. We want it very doughy. Hey! No. It's like her cereal that she used to eat. Yeah, that's the consistent. That's a little wet, actually. No, because there's powder. Yeah, you want to mix that all in together. I can't with Anna. Oh, she's actually helping. Just let her do it. It makes her happy. She's not hurting anything. Anna, put it back in the container. She's hurting my reputation. She's hurting the table. And uh, no, actually, you're gonna... <laughs> yeah, no, put it back in. We gotta mix it all together. We're gonna make bread. Make a big bowl with it. I, um... Amber, start scraping your fingers off. I'm trying to. And this is what's happening. Yeah, scrape it off. You want it the consistency of like a tough Play-Doh, kind of like a clay. I love clay. Anna, it's wait. It's salty. Mm -hmm. Wait. You're gonna need a, just a pinch mm -hmm. more milk. No. Okay. I hope this does come off. It will. It doesn't look like it is. It's not slime. Okay. So, fighting aside, we now have our ball of dough. You saw that? Did you try and eat it, Anna? She licked her, she put her tongue out at me. It's yucky, huh? I love yeast. Spread. That's because it's not cooked yet. Take some plastic wrap and cover the top. Although a wet kitchen towel would work, but I'm all out of kitchen towels at the moment. And we're going to let it rise for about a half hour to 45 minutes and then we'll come back. And you said it would come off. Well, it's because you're not doing it the way I told you to. But So, just when you're done kneading it, which is folding it and pushing it and folding it and pushing it. Kind of like slime. Make it into a ball. I made and, a taco. And Anna's over there playing with it like it's Play-Doh. And pizza. <laughs> Seven fun. That's all that counts. Pizza. pizza. Now the most difficult part about making bread <laughs> is the Wait. actual, no, it's the cooking process. Because you, you cook it, it out and put it back in. You cook it at a high temperature for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And then you drop the temperature down and you cook it for a long time on a lower temperature. Okay. Put it down. And now we're going to wash our hands, cover it up, and we will be back in a half hour to 45 minutes. Okay, now that Amber has gone to take her sister to wash her hands, I have formed the ball for the dough. And I left the one the baby was playing off to the side to show her how it rises. Um, I'm now going to cover the bowl, and we'll be back. Okay, so we're back. It's been about a half hour, and this is how much the, uh, bread has risen. Okay, it's a lot fluffier and lighter now, and this is the little piece that Anna was playing with. So, I'm going to get you, get you set up, and that is not a baking dish. Baking dish. It's nice and fluffy. You don't want to squish it too much, but you want to knead it and form it into a loaf. A smaller one, Ember. Actually, I think my loaf pans will work perfectly if you get them down. Okay, so that is all you do to form it into a loaf.
You can be a little neater, a little less complicit. Now I have Christmassy Christmas loaves. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some flour. Amber, you want to man the can, Mara, so they can see? Can you Take a little bit of flour in our hands, and you want to rub the inside of your dish with it. You're not greasing it, you're just rubbing it. Rub, rub, rub. Rub, rub. Rub, rub. Okay. Now I'm going to break this in half with a twist and I'm going to form little loaves. About E big. I'm going to shape them nice and pretty. Amber. Something went wrong. We're still recording. Make sure you can see. Okay. okay. Stop shaking it. Okay. And we're gonna slip it in and we're gonna press it out. Like a real loaf of bread. Okay. Look at all that yummy. Layers. And now Ember is going to do hers over the table. Don't move it too much. You don't want to compress it too much. I want mine to be a weird looking cheese. No, Amber. You want it to cook evenly, so you want it to be even. Don't push it down too much. Okay? You're saying this isn't even? No, I'm saying you're pushing it too hard, so it's not going to cook properly. There, I made a trapezoid. Push it in. Okay. Now we're going to set our oven to 425, and we will be back when it preheats. Here are our loaves after we set them in the pan and preheated the oven to 425 degrees. So once the oven preheats to 425 degrees, we put in our loaves of bread. And we bake them for about 25 minutes. Okay? Yeah, I think these loaf pans might be a little small. But we'll find out the hard way. Mommy. It's going to taste the same no matter what. Once we cook them for 25 minutes, we will be back. We will be dropping the temperature and cooking them for about 45 to 65 more minutes. Just to ensure that they're fully cooked. Um, what this does is the higher temperature will golden brown the outside. And the part of the bread that's not in the pan making the crust of the bread. Whoops, sorry. I was looking at the bread, not my camera. It makes the crust of the bread, and when you drop the temperature, it cooks it all the way through. So I will take you through that step and show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, so the 25 minutes at 425 has puffed it up twice as much as the container, and has given it a nice crisp crust. Now to continue cooking it, we're simply going to drop the temperature of the oven to 325, and cook it for about 45 more minutes. So we will be back when that process is done. And I forgot to mention, we do not take the bread out of the oven. We leave it in as the temperature drops. Okay, so here's the finished product. I will put your Masha Bear dress on in a minute. Here's the finished product of our bread. I will take them out and give you a better, better shot of them in a second.